All right, so I went back to the coin books and I scrutinized them a little more. And I saw that these weren't all Walking Liberty half dollars. In fact, he has some Kennedy half dollars in here filling out some of the slots. I'm not sure if these were sold at one point and he just stuck these in here as filler, but he's got a few here. There was a 64 version that I did take out and put in a coin capsule. He's got a couple here as well, 1970, 1970. Um, I considered maybe possibly trying to finish this collection out for him, um, but I don't know if some of these missing years are really uh, expensive. Probably should look at that, like 1918 or 16, for example, 16D. Um, and then these, I believe these are good here, right? He had all these, yeah, so this is fine. So there's the, the walking Liberty halves. And then the dimes, there's, that's a full set. Franklin halves, this is a full set. I'm actually going to leave this as is. Um, I want to get my own set of Franklin halves in like brilliant uncirculated condition. Um, these are, I guess these are considered circulated maybe. Maybe not. I mean, they are pretty clean and shiny. Um, I learned that these here are considered, I guess, junker uh, cull. Cull. I guess that's the term to describe these beat up old ones. Um, the Washington Quarters, he is missing a couple also. This one maybe like would cost, I think, $12 to, to get, to fill this out. Um, so I thought maybe I could do that. I'm not really a big fan of these quarters. He's got a few more here he's missing. Um, again, I'm not sure of the uh, 408,000. 2.5 million, so maybe this one certainly be more expensive to find or locate. So something I'm considering doing. Um, and then the Washington quarters are all set here. Now, I noticed he had these these rolls of pennies from 1983. I'm like, why would he have 1983 pennies? And I looked it up. Apparently there was something with these that uh, they could be either copper and have some sort of mint mark that would make them a little more desirable. I don't, I didn't spot that with any of these. I did open up the both rolls, you can see here, I think this is like the plated one because that has like a silverish, it doesn't look like copper to me. I don't know, from 1983. And um, I went through each one of these. They all look the same. So maybe he just picked up a couple of, of rolls thinking there might be something in there and never got around to looking at it. I don't know. Um, but I don't think these are any significance. The nickels, somebody pointed out if they had steps, then they'd be very valuable, but none of mine, unfortunately, have, I guess, the steps, which you see, like, the lines here um, on the steps to the building. Um, yeah, so he's got two, he had two of these. These are, I guess, considered junk, junk silver. Oops. These look a little bit nicer. Um, almost like these are uncirculated. These are from... Uh, I can't even read that. 1969. Um, so, yeah, so there's those. And then I have some other things here. I put this SD bullion bag. Um, he had this random, where is it? Do I not have it in here? There's like this random filthy... American Eagle um, that I thought about. Oh, I think I put that in a tube. Um, it's not a, a key date or anything, and, and I thought about me trying to clean it, which I know is sort of, I guess, uh, something you're not supposed to do with coins. But um, anyway, I'll get to that later. So here are some things that I have. This is a 64 Kennedy half. This came out of, maybe, did I have two of them in there? I think there were two in those coin books that I took out and I put in these coin capsules. And then I have these here. These are one and a half ounce silver. These are from the Solomon Islands. And uh, that's a Lady Liberty, I guess. We got four of them. It was difficult to find the right coin capsule for these. I prefer the direct fit style, but I guess uh, with this particular size, I had no choice but to go with this ring fit style here. Uh, so I have four of these. And again, those are one and a half ounce silver. One, two, three, four. Then I got a few Chinese pandas in here. 
And these, I guess, aren't one full ounce or like a little less than that. These are kind of expensive compared to the other sovereign silver coins that are out there. So three of those. Um, I have some plans to fill up some tubes of some sovereign silver. I'm working on that right now. I've already finished uh, two of them and more to come. But anyway, just a quick video. Yet another coin collection video, taking my time going through it and then going back through it again, see what I missed, and then jumping on here and talking about it. So more to come. I will talk to you then.